Good morning. I trust that this is a very good morning. I trust you are well. You had a wonderful night. We thank God for having you today, the 7th day of May, 2024. This is a day that we believe that God is going to bless us. Uh, we saw his blessings yesterday. We saw that he took care of us. And now today, we are hoping and expecting from him. My name is Sam. I'm born again. The Lord has done many things in my heart. And I want us to prepare our hearts to hear the word of God from the book of Psalm 138. That is where we should get our readings, starting to read from verse 1. Prepare yourself and brace yourself to hear the word of God. Najua mkubozi wangu anaishi anaishi Najua mkombozi wangu anaishi anaishi Thank you Father because we know you are a living God you are a God who does things for our sake Father we want you this morning this Tuesday you shall give us the blessing that is meant for us We want to walk through the journey of your word during this day's devotion and we pray that you shall speak to us, starting with me as you use me to speak to these, our reasoner. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. The Bible says in Psalm 138, uh, we shall read through the a few verses and then I will be done. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my, with my heart before the gods. I sing your praise. This verse God introduces, uh, God is introduced in a different way by saying that I will give you thanks, O Lord, with my heart, with my whole heart. The David wrote this song and said that I will give thanks with the whole heart. You know, sometimes when you do something with the whole heart, there's, there's a lot of joy. I don't know whether you've ever been invited in a certain uh, function where you're involved, you even may be involved in the planning. You rush there and you feel that this is where I'm supposed to be. You do these things with the whole of your heart. And then David writes and tells God, I will give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. And I'll do it before. Uh, before the, uh, the gods, I will sing your praise. He said, even before the gods, I will still sing your praise. My brother, my sister, I want you to know that it doesn't matter who is near you. When you decide to give praises to God, let him hear the praises. Let those near you hear you praising him and saying that, God, I believe that you have done something great for me. I believe in your blessings and your promises are yes and amen. When we learn to give thanks to God, he comes close and blesses us. It is important we learn to be, we develop a culture of giving testimonies of what God has done. Sometimes God comes and he delivers you from somewhere, but then you forget to, to, to tell others that I have seen the hand of the Lord. David said that I will give you thanks, O Lord, with the whole of my heart. I will even do it before the gods and sing your praise. Verse 2 uh, something else comes here and he says, I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name. He says that I will bow down. During this time, there were no, there, there were no temples near uh, or uh, everywhere. There was only uh, the temple that was in Jerusalem. And so during this time, when, uh, when uh, the temple was built, they, 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 would, uh, they would face there. And uh, they would, uh, in case they had a calamity, they would face there. And they would bow down facing the temple. Today, we are lucky, my brother and my sister, we have temples all around, consecrated, and place sanctuaries where we can go. But then he says, I I will bow down facing the holy, uh, the holy temple and give thanks to your name. He, he says that I will give thanks to your name. I will tell you why I've repeated that one. Then first he explains uh, the few things that happened. Number one, he says, why am I giving thanks? One, he says, for your steadfast love. He talks of the steadfast love. David has, had gone through a lot of things. We all know his story. But God said that I have seen a man after my heart. It is important you understand and you, you, uh, you, you, you recognize the steadfast love that God has given you. When God comes into your life, you start doing things. You start receiving miracles from one corner to the other. And that is what God has done for us. The first miracle is that you are listening to me. You are watching me. 
Many people have died because of the floods that we are experiencing. Many people have, uh, have, been, have been injured. Others are in hospitals. But to you, my brother, my sister, you are okay and you are saved. We praise the Lord for having you. It is not, if it were not for the steadfast love of God, you will not be reasoning to me. Sometimes we learn what we have when you see what other people are lacking. You appreciate what you have because when you see other people are lacking whatever that you may take as if it is very normal. But then he says, I will thank you for your steadfast love. When you breathe in and you breathe out, you feel the steadfast love of God. If you ate something in the morning or it's time you're having your breakfast, breathe in, breathe out. Tell God, Father, I give you thanks for your steadfast love. If you have clothes to wear, just tell God that, Father, I recognize your steadfast love. If you have a business, you have a work, or you have your own way of getting uh, your, your daily bread, go and tell God, I thank you for your steadfast love. There are people who in this world are saying, I wish so and so knew what they are lacking, or what, what I'm lacking. I wish so and so know, would know what they have. They would appreciate that thing even more. Then he says, the first thing I'm giving thanks is your steadfast love. The second thing he says, and your faithfulness. He talks about the faithfulness of God. Many friends can tell you any time. But our God, when he says he is going to come to bless you, he is going to do exactly that. And I pray today that the blessing that is meant for you, God will bring it because he is a faithful God. If there is a blessing meant for you today, you shall not go to bed until you receive that blessing in Jesus' name. I want to open doors in your life. We open doors in your life that God will come and bless you and give, and, and give his faithfulness unto you. When you call to him, when you tell him, Father, I need you to come in my life, he is a faithful God. When you call him, he answers. And he says, ask and it shall be given to you. Nor can you, and the door shall be opened. This is a God who is so faithful. He does things for us because of loving us. Number three, he talks of something else. He says, you have exalted, you, you ha for you have exalted above all things, not here, your name and your word. Please, the name of the Lord. He talks of ex the name of the Lord has been exalted very high. You know one thing we were told by Jesus? Anything you ask in my name shall be done unto you. He says that you go and tell, uh, if you tell a mountain to move by the name of Jesus, it moves. And they pray that the prayers you are making, the name of God will come into your life and bring a difference in Jesus' name. When he, that, that name of God, when it comes, it tears all the problems we have and pulls them away. And we are made whole and new because he is a good God. Oh, hallelujah. What a good Lord that by the name of Jesus, things are changing. May something change in your life today in the name of Jesus. May the word be, uh, be, 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 be in your life today. May this word bring change into your life and to your situation. We speak that you are healed in the name of Jesus. We speak that you are making it in the name of Jesus. We say that we declare that the devil shall not defeat you today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a good name that we have. That we command and it is done. Oh yes. Is a good God. Number two, then he says that he talks of uh, you for you uh, have exalted above all things your name and your word. The word I'm bringing you today, the uh, the seventh of May. That that word is very important. It breaks. Hebrew says it is like a double-edged uh, sharpened sword. It casts this side and the other side. The word of God can move you to other places. This word of God you are seeing. This word can bring you healing. This word can bring you, uh, can end the problems you have. Because when the word comes, it comes to break. You can never have the word of God and remain the same way you are. Because he is called God, his word is very powerful, my brother, my sister. And since we are, as we finish, I won't tell you about verse 3. On the day I called, you answered me. My strength of my soul, you increased. I pray today that this day you are calling to the, to the Lord, he will answer you in Jesus' name. David said in the verse 3, I called and you answered. When he comes and answers your prayer, something happens. My strength of my soul, you increased. May this day God answer your prayers 
and increase your soul in faith. I wish you God's blessing and God's favor that he shall come and make a difference in your life. I want to pray with you. I want you to trust with me. Wherever you are, just believe with me. If you can't close your eyes, it's okay. If you can't close your eyes, just have faith me with me. I know that God is able to do something. Najua mkobozi wangu anaishi anaishi najua mkobozi wangu anaishi anaishi Father there is someone who is calling you today I pray in the name of Jesus, after hearing your word, that you shall answer their prayer in the name of Jesus. Where the devil has tried to rise and show us we cannot make it, we want to use your word to quiet him in Jesus' name. Whatever negative message that has come our side, we are quieting it today using your name in the name of Jesus. May the life of this Christian be in Christ. May the soul be increased, the strength of the soul be increased in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you shall make a way for them. There are people who are going through difficult times, some are sick. I pray that your word that heals will heal them. Others are in troubles, they don't know what to do. Make a way for them in the name of Jesus. Father, others, their hearts are heartbroken by the things they are going through. We pray the Lord, using your word, you shall increase the strength of, your, of their souls and they shall see you. May your word have an impact in their lives today. And the blessing of God shall be with you always. And now the peace of the Lord, which is past understanding, shall always be with you. And the blessing of God, which comes and brings differences through his word shall be with you and scatter darkness from your path. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wonderful, wonderful, my brother and my sister. May this God come, answer your prayer, and strengthen your soul. Goodbye, have a good day, and God bless you very much. Thank you.